In May 74, a terrible tragedy happened. There was a group of students who lived in Tzfat, and they were attacked by a terrorist group. Marlot was the most horrific of recent Palestinian attacks. 25 Israelis were killed, 20 of them schoolchildren on holiday. That Shabbat, I remember the Rebbe coming into the Fabrengen. His face was awesome. The Rebbe spoke about bringing the Jewish people to, to, to deeper their, their actions of Torah and mitzvahs, especially Mitzvah Mezuzah. We know on the Mezuzah it says the name of God, Shin Dalad Yud, which stands for the three words, Shomer Daltot Yisrael. And he spoke about it with such a, a broken voice. And for a number of weeks, the Rebbe called from the bottom of his heart that everybody should do his utmost to put on film of the Jewish people and to bring mezuzot to the Jewish people. After the Fabreng and the next day sat, we talked. A friend of mine, uh, Rabbi Duchman, other Bacharim, we said we have to do something large. We decided to rent vans and go out to the streets with microphones. They would stop in the most busy corners, whether it was the Fifth Avenue or Seventh Avenue or Times Square or Grand Central Station. It's a very government vacation to the Hamishis Hamishsoyim, the Rinian Adosis Atam. Five, six Bokhim were in every van, and with film, we would bring people over. Within a few days, it was the talk of New York. People of the Hasidic Jewish sect, known as Lubavitch, battle secularism and assimilation in Jewish communities. Those days and those weeks, I remember them so clearly, how we were so involved. Every morning, the, a number of the Bochum of students would go out on these vans. We would sit days and nights calling up people, what days do you volunteer to go? What days do you volunteer to go? To be out in the streets in Manhattan and then other, to other boroughs of New York to bring the call of the Rebbe there. A number of times over the coming weeks, the Rebbe would come to 770 early in the morning. The tanks were parked on the service lane of Eastern Parkway, and he would turn around with a big, big smile. The Rebbe was very involved in every, every detail. He wanted to have a full, full report daily or every two days of how this campaign is going on. How many people put on film coming into the tanks? And how many people went out? And to what areas we went out? We have all literature about different mitzvahs, and we even bring a mitzvah mobile along to help people go inside and to put on the mitzvah of tefillin which is from our larger mitzvah campaign. Mobile, that's fantastic. And it's the tank, we call it. It's the tank against assimilation. How would you like to put on tefillin? We'll say one paragraph of the Shema, we'll take it off, and you did a mitzvah. You came connected with Hashem through the mitzvah, through the commandment. All right, okay. sure. Sure, let's go. the tank, what does it make is I'm going his baby booze, and we close and can in Yonivos, Kehol again, basic soil has we show him. The other Abbe Kavish Zayn, as all Zayn Ali in Yonivos, so Mashach is so a yin, so Dort Nazayn Niker, Kepi Avaye Dibe. I'm really glad I bumped into you. Fantastic. The impact that this had was amazing. 
That became the motto, the motto of uh, the Bavitch Chassidim throughout the world. To meet Jewish people, to bring them, to put on tefillin, ask the Bavitch Chassidim to speak to Jewish women that they should light Shabbos candles and so on. Chayel Tov Shalom Dabu Rebbe says he wants to start something new. He wants to give everybody who is in the, at the Fabrengen a dollar to be a shliach, his messenger, to give it for tzedakah. And then from that Fabrengen and on, every Fabrengen on a weekday ended with the Rebbe making everybody at the Fabrengen a shliach mitzvah for tzedakah, and he gave it out for the Tantas.